Hi, Virgo, Sun, and Rising in Venus. This is what we got going on for Friday, October 18, 2024. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more. 15 minutes for $20 is up on my website for anyone who's interested. I also have the 20 minute same day reading special that's also up on my website too. You're welcome to go ahead and take a look at it if you're interested in a personal reading. One is 15 minutes for $20 and the other one is a same day reading special for 20 minutes on my website for anyone who's interested. Let's get it Virgos coming in with the hermit card on the bottom of the deck. That could be potentially you guys that are going in within, maybe isolating yourselves, turning into a hermit, reflecting. However though, whether this is going to be you or the other person that you guys are dealing with. It could have been a Virgo, a Leo, uh, a Pisces. Heavy on the Pisces, Scorpio energy too. I'm picking up Leo and Sagittarius energy, a Cancer as well, and also a Libra. Oh, and also an Aquarius and Gemini. Let's get a Virgo's coming with a Temperance card, Page of Cups, and also the Lover's card. <sighs> Well, okay, so before I even get into the reading, they want to talk about a little bit of the energy about what's going on. The harvest full moon is incredibly strong and it's incredibly powerful. Some of you guys are going to be crying quite a bit, feeling really overwhelmed, crying, tears. That's releasing. You are energetically releasing what is no longer serving you. You don't have to do any work. You don't have to do any spell work. You don't have to do any of that stuff. The fact that you're already releasing on an emotional level lets me know immediately that the harvest full moon is working in your favor and it's helping you release what is still suppressed in your heart space so that alone is being utilized by the moon and the moon is working in your favor to help you release and let go of the pain that you have been enduring or have been suppressing for a very long time also with the energy of jupiter it's also affecting you guys too causing you guys to feel a little bit nauseous the portals are just really crazy right now there's quite a bit, the two full moons, the two full moons, the two full moons, that's crazy. The two moons that are in our solar system right now, that is incredibly very powerful at the moment. So it's going to cause us a little bit of headaches, uh, maybe low on energy, it's just really low. And the fact that the harvest full moon is really, really low to our earth plane, I think I talked about it before in the past where I was said that the full moon is going to be really, like the moons are going to be really, really low to our earth plane. So it's going to be affecting us. Like the moons and the planets, they should not be that close to us. However, though, they are very close. So if you look up at the sky now, you'll see the moon and then you're going to see also Saturn right beside the moon. So the energy of the moon, the second moon plus Saturn plus Jupiter is affecting us very, very much so. And heavy karma is coming in for those who are doing wrong. Um... Then the spirit said solar plexus. So make sure you guys remove the blockages off of your solar plexus as well. Getting the balance that you guys need with the temperance card is incredibly important. You guys have been really, really dissatisfied on things that have been happening to you guys on an emotional level. However, though, when it comes to love now, finding the balance that you guys simply need in love and being patient in love is incredibly important. Somebody here feels really, really sad, regretful, and incredibly disappointed for the way that they had treated you. They are more so sad and depressed over the fact that they had a really great connection with you and they were kind of being controlling in some sort of way here. This person here looks like they want to return back to you immediately. I'm hearing like immediate, like 911. It's an emergency. They need to come running back to you. They need to talk to you. They need to speak to you. They need to look at you, see you, face you. They just need to face you. This person feels really sad, regretful. You guys may have been sad and regretful. Like you guys may have been sad over the situation. However, though, you felt sad, they're feeling a million times more sad. It's one thing feeling sad and disappointed, but there's another thing when you're feeling regretful and depressed. Feeling sad over a connection that didn't work, that's understandable. But to feel regret, guilty, horrible is on a whole other fucking level. Two of Cups, Chariot card. This person's coming directly back towards you guys. They obviously wanted to have control over the situation, but they also lost control in the situation as well. And that's what, exactly why they are feeling sad. They are going to reach out to you for a Cups, Temperance card. They're hoping that you're going to forgive them and that you're going to be able to take them back. They are coming with an apology uh, with the Page of Cups, 
Ten of Pentacles, you guys are going to become the fool in reverse. You don't look like you want to take any risks with this situation with this person because you've been hurt so many times with the Queen of Swords that you have no choice but to feel like you have to cut certain people off. It's like you don't give people many chances. It's like one chance, you fucked it up, you're gone. Like, boom, goodbye. Like, you don't give people many chances on that Queen of Swords because you already know what it's like to feel pain, to feel sad. You're already in the Queen of Swords energy. You don't tolerate nothing. You don't tol tolerate the immature. It's like, thank you for your apology, but then goodbye at the same time. Like, that's how I'm seeing the energy. However, though, I'm not going to say that is going to be prominent or permanent for you guys because with the queen of swords as cold and as detached and as blunt and and as clear as day as you guys are you do have a lot of love and you are also very smart and intellectual so you do think things on a rational level you're not the type of person to quickly jump cut people off or anything like that you give people the benefit of the doubt so if this person was going to come back towards you guys and they're going to apologize to you yeah you might you might like not take no shit from this person and you're going to feel like yeah you don't really want to take any risk when it comes to this energy however though you can't deny the fact that you had a really great chem you had great chemistry with this person lover's card you had a great connection with them two of cups so you don't want to you don't want to like you don't want to just throw somebody away just because you're hurt and heartbroken over things that had happened in the past with other relationships is what i'm talking about like don't let the past relationships uh taint your future relationships. So that's why you guys are the Queen of Swords upright and you're on the Justice card. Like you see here, she's carrying the Justice. So her heart space in her mind, it's balanced out completely. So with the Lover's Star card, you guys have high hopes that everything will end up being okay, especially this person. Like they obviously wanted to be in kind of like in their player energy. They want to be a bachelor, X, Y, and Z. You are already in the Queen of Swords. So what's a bachelor to a queen? Like I always tell you guys this, what's a bachelor to an empress? What's a bachelor to a friggin' or a bachelorette to an emperor, you know what I mean? So this person's definitely attracted to you. They find you to be incredibly beautiful. It's like you they've never seen anything as pretty or as handsome as you, star card. And you bring this energy about them. You bring them you bring in like a lot of passion for this person. They feel really good and they're going to release the 4 of pentacles. If this person blocked you, they are now going to unblock you 7 of wands and the 4 of pentacles in reverse. If they blocked you, you're going to block if if they're if if they blocked you they're going to unblock you now and they're also going to release the control that they had with you and that's because of the 3 of swords they don't like the fact that they caused you pain and they just simply want to be happy with you again sun card and that's exactly what the energy is is that you brought them a lot of happiness they want to they want to go back to their happiness so Within the last two two within the last two weeks from what I'm seeing on the moon card, two of swords, world card, and the four of swords, the last two weeks and coming into the next four weeks as well. <sighs> the moon is really affecting a lot of people on a subconscious level, especially on an emotional level too. It's making a lot of people have to kind of see themselves. It's kind of like making people see that they're actually the deceptive ones. If they're sitting there being deceptive and being players to a lot of people out here, it's like this moon is going to shine the light on their deceptiveness. The last thing you're ever going to want to deal with or have to feel is the fact that you're sitting there deceiving yourself. So if you're sitting there dealing with somebody and this person doesn't want to believe in love or doesn't want to believe in relationships or whatever, they think the life is so free and they can come and go as they please, it's like this moon is going to shine the light on them so that way they can see with the two of swords because if they can't figure out their shit out on the two of swords having to make a decision that moon is going to show them that they are deceptive and that they need to fix their ways to world card and they're not going to like it four of swords they're not going to like it so they are coming to the realization on the page of wands that they have to put an end to their immaturity queen of pentacles that's you you're always grounded you're loving you're affectionate you're kind you're caring and with the queen of wands in reverse it's like you have in this energy here, because it is the Justice card, Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands, it's like you saying to yourself that you're not going to put yourself in a position to make anyone think that they can come in and disrespect you. 
I also see here too that you guys also have to balance out your energy too. If your energy is off balance on the Queen of Wands, you need to balance that energy out. You need to balance out your, you just got to balance out your energy. That's all I'm going to say. So I don't feel like this person's capable of walking away from you right now. They might be trying to get some sort of advice, spiritual advice, whatever the case is. But it looks like it's going to work out for them. You guys are highly heightened at the moment. And if this person is deciding to come back and tell you that they want to be in a relationship with you, like full out commitment with you, it's saying that you already knew that this person's going to want a commitment with you because they're coming back around apologizing to you and really being apologetic towards you. So that's exactly why you're the Queen of Swords upright because you're seeing that this person's apology is definitely sincere. So they're not going to give up on you and they're going to stop juggling as well. They're going to stop juggling, stop uh, prioritizing other situations, things, money before you and they're going to be able to balance that energy out. They're also coming to the realization with the Seven of Cups, Three of Cups, Ten of Cups that maybe the people that they're hanging out with is not the best options for them on the Seven of Cups and they want it and they choose to have to have. So they're seeing that with the Three of Cups, they're ha they're they're happy and they're content with Three, three Cups. However, though, there is another seven cups if they want it or another four cups. But in one of those cups can give them the ten of cups. Do you see what I mean? So whoever these people are that they're hanging out with, it's not it's bringing them happiness, but it's not bringing them the most happiness that they are actually wanting because there's another cup inside of these cups on the seven of cups that actually is going to bring in the ten of cups. So that's why when you got when you get the seven of cups, it's like you guys got to choose really wisely. Because if you're going to be like confused by all the options and the cups that are being offered towards you, it's like, damn, one cup got de depression, one cup got three of swords, the pain, a heartbreak, one cup got love, emotional fulfillment, the other cup got a, a home, a family, kids, the whole entire nine. It's like you need to choose wisely sometimes in the direction you're wanting to go in life because you might choose the wrong cup at one point and be like, damn, why did I open that door for and it's like in this situation, it's like, yeah, you might be happy with your brethren or whatever, going out, partying, drinking. But then this person's like, wait, hold on a second. I feel like I have a little bit more cups that I can choose from. And they realize that they actually do have another cup and that the cup that they are going to choose now is the Ten of Cups, which is you. So this person is definitely feeling overwhelmed from their emotions. <sighs> Why are they saying criteria? <laughs> I don't even know where it goes. This person's definitely feeling overwhelmed by the love that they also have for you too. I feel like this person's really really having a lot of thoughts about you on wanting to give to the relationship. They want they're they're talking about it being practical. They have this person needs to be practical in their decisions and when they're giving into a relationship on the 6 of pentacles, 8 of pentacles, 8 of swords. This person's like crazy having lots of thoughts about you, they can't get you out of their mind, they're at work, they're thinking about you, it's really affecting them, like this person misses you quite a bit, and they are feeling so shitty and horrible that they had this great opportunity to hear to be with you, and they ended up sabotaging it on the eight of swords and the five of swords by maybe walking away from you, wanting to have control and power over the fact that maybe they know that they can't control you, maybe you weren't whatever it was they're not telling me what what had happened all they're telling me is that this person is deceiving themselves and they thought that they can sit there and plead with this player player boy playboy playgirl whatever the fuck what and they thought they can live their life that way but then when this person had met you they've never met anybody like you before this is why this is person's really apologetic and why they're going to release the control issues and why they're going to put their fences down and why they're going to have to go within and really reflect. Some of you guys are going to be he hearing a lot of foxes during the moon or hearing a lot of coyotes during the moon at nighttime, maybe around 2.30, 1.30, anything after 1.30, between 1.30 and 4.30, you're going to be hearing this at nighttime. I'm also seeing you guys are going to be hearing a lot of birds at nighttime as well. It could be during the day, but... They said, and then they said they 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 said that you're gonna hear you're gonna see a swan a beautiful fucking swan she's so cute he <laughs> and then I don't know why someone else is gonna see a white duck <laughs> oh Virgo <laughs> so cute so this person feels pretty stupid like I'm getting a lot of stupid energy for whatever reason like somebody here feels really really stupid by losing you. They feel really, really stupid by having have lost control over you by their selfishness, by their manipulation. They feel really stupid. 
And this person is definitely coming back towards you guys. Six of Wands, Nine of Cups, Page of Swords. Their communication is coming right back in. Uh, there's a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio you guys were dealing with. This person wasn't trying to invest in anything. They weren't even thinking about long-term goals. They were thinking only about short-term goals, which really fucked them up in the end. But there is communication coming in from this person. They feel really delayed at the moment, really stuck as well because of their own behavior. I do believe that this person is, in fact, getting their karma for what they've done to you. Seven of Cups, Seven of Coins in Reverse. And the King of Cups in reverse, they're they're really upset. They're kind of bitchy, kind of moody at the same time because they realize that their their manipulation bullshit, their bipolar shit, isn't isn't is really affecting them. I don't feel like this person is getting maybe the help that they need, but I do see bipolar energy for sure. And this person needs to stop betraying themselves. They need to stop thinking the worst in life. And they're carrying this really heavy burden. Because they're dealing with a lot of shit at the moment. They're dealing with their emotions. They're dealing with the fact that they miss you. They want to be with you. They want to talk to you. But then you make them really happy. But then they're dealing with work and money and all this crazy shit. And they know that they want to be with you four of wands. So, you know, they have to come into the realization that they're the ones that control the power. That they have the power. That they are in control of their own life. No one's going to take your hand, dog, and put a pen in your hand, brethren. And then, and, and no one, like, I will not put a pen in your hand and be like, let me write your life for you. You are, you are in control of your life. You are responsible for your life. You cannot blame nobody for the shit that you're dealing with in this life because you're the one that's writing your, writing your novels out. You're the one that's writing your life out. So this person is going to have to realize that they are in power. They are in control. And they have to move forward. They are going to be reaching out to you, Page of Pentacles. And then it's that Knight of Cups energy. So I do see communication be coming in between the two of you guys. Expect this to be coming in. Hermit card, Virgo energy is reflecting on the tower that just had happened. Some of you guys just may have went through a breakup. This person stressed out a lot over you. They're, 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 they're tripping. Like, they're not just tripping. They're pressed. Like, I'm hearing pressed. That this person's fucking pressed right now because they're in hermit. They're isolating. They're reflecting on the tower that just happened, the breakup that just happened. They're like, yo, why the hell did it have, have to happen like that? They're not understanding. You guys might not also... This is you guys. You guys are not really understanding why it happened like that. If you guys had a great connection with this person, how come it went sideways all of a sudden? You're not really understanding it. This person is going to come back towards you guys. They're thinking a lot about you as well. Three of Wands. They're looking at things at a higher perspective at a different like direction in life they're like looking at the long like future they're looking towards the future that they want to bring this opportunity towards you but they have to stop betraying themselves they have to stop putting pain on themselves you guys have gone through a tremendous amount of pain you guys are living your life like stress-free but you don't look like your pain. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, you don't look like your pain. You don't look like you just went through tower upon tower upon tower. You don't look like that. You don't look like you 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 suffer from depression. You don't look like you suffer from fear. You don't look like you suffer from any fucking thing. Nobody would ever be able to tell nothing on you guys. You are the Nine of Pentacles. You want to know why you guys don't look like what your pain is? Because you don't look at the past. You look towards the future of Wheel of Fortune. And you know damn right that nothing stays for everything. Everything is a session. Everything is a season. Everything is a chapter. Nothing stays the same. So your direction into the future is going to be like, nah, dog. You went through that. It didn't, it didn't break you. You, you. you made it still. You still made it, right? You still made it. So whatever that you thought was going to end up destroying you or breaking you, it didn't break you and it didn't destroy you. You're still here. You're still living your best life. You're looking better than ever. And you look younger than ever. I keep hearing the fucking song forever young i want to be forever young it's like this is it it's like maybe some of you guys just don't want to fucking grow up i'm not going to hold i'm not going to press you guys for that life's crazy at the moment so live your best life be young forever you also look young too nobody would ever be able to tell your age because of how well you take care of yourself king of swords gemini libra aquarius is having to call and make a decision and take control and power over this situation five of wands there was a lot of people in the energy too many too many look at all the mans if this is like an enemy reading on the king of swords king they, there's a group of people you know there's a group of people who are definitely coming up against you guys but judgment's being called on all all of them for what they've just done to you so it is what it is at this point i'm also seeing that this person is going to be having a little bit of arguments and a little bit of conflict between themselves the business partners whoever the fuck what but 
is because they're having a little bit of a difficulty with the Three of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. I also see workplace drama coming in on a heavy, heavy energy. Somebody who's in control and power, this King of Pentacles is looking at the King of Wands like, yo, do you really have control over this situation? Do you really have control over it? Five of Wands, Three of Pentacles. I'm seeing that there could potentially also be a breakout, like a fight that might be happening in the workplace. And I keep talking to you guys about this for the longest time. Like, yo, I was talking before about the protein fucking man's <laughs> how the muscle mans are all going to be fighting with each other it doesn't necessarily have to be but this king of pentacles they work out they all work out all these mans here they a lot of them they work out and uh, so if, if the ones that work out there's the ones that work out the ones that go to the gyms you guys are all going to have a fight with each other there's going to be some sort of fight that's going to end up going down you're all going to be fucked up and you're all going to be fighting so i suggest that if you know if there's going to be a fight, I suggest that you get out of there as quick as you can and protect your energy. You don't need the drama. You don't need the smoke. You don't need the problems. Do not get involved. Do not even try to stop the fight. Just go on and move on with your life. Let the fucking big ass man's fucking... I don't know what these protein mans do. I don't know what, I don't know what the protein things does to their fucking minds to fuck their shit up, to make them think that they can out train everybody out here like no dog I got gloves on I can I can, I can smack you with my glove <laughs> the other one's like well I wear a fucking muscle shirt so because I wear a fucking muscle shirt I must be more muscular than you <laughs> and the other one's like well you know what I know a whole lot of shit about supplements and stuff king of pentacles the other one's like yo fuck you and your supplements dog I'm a trainer I'm a, <laughs> I'm a boss <laughs> they're fighting over the most stupidest fucking shit you could think of and they all fucking end up fighting with the fight they're just the stupidest fight over the dumb, most dumbest shit i'm also seeing that there's going to be a gemini libra aquarius who's calling in making the decision that they have to take control over the situation that they have to put a put away their immaturity on the five of wands three of pentacles that the only way that you're going to want to make any situation work in life is that you're going to have to grow the fuck up and come to the realization that sometimes it's okay to disagree but it's not okay to create problems and drama with people because you don't agree to something that is the wrong thing that you can possibly do oh well they're not looking at things in my perspective i have to fight with them no the bridge and the fuck you don't have to fight with anybody just because someone doesn't agree with your opinion or doesn't agree with you with you with whatever the fuck you're trying to say doesn't mean you you go start beefing with them this is if you guys are all biz if this is a business situation here on the king 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 energy it's like y'all need to get your shit the fuck together because if you guys cannot work in a in an environment that's supposed to bring success then none of you guys can actually work together one hair one person got the fucking mind the other person got the creativity the leadership the control the other person got the money the business you know what I mean? You all, all, all these men, they all, or all these men and women, they all have something to contribute into this energy here. And for whatever the fuck what, they're having problems. Five of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Stop pointing your fingers at people and, stay, and take responsibility. When you're an adult, you take responsibility. Stay in your lane. Play your fucking position. You're good with the analytical shit. You're good with the communication. You're good with whatever. The other person's good with sales. The other one person's good at making shit. Visionary, creativity. Yo, put your fucking energies together and create something abundant. Two of Wands. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So there's going to be a Gemini Libra Aquarius who's coming to the realization on the judgment card that it's time for them to take control of their life, Judge uh, King of Wands, that they put you in a competition. They may have put you also in a three-party situation, but now this person is realizing because they are probably speaking to one of their friends, asking their friend for advice or whatever the case is. And this person, some of you guys may have been waiting for this person to come back for you, but you're learning to be a lot more stronger and you're learning to stand in your power and press card. You don't chase, you attract. If they don't want you, then go on with your day. And that's exactly what you're learning on that Empress energy. That nobody makes you feel like you're inadequate. No one's going to make you feel like you don't deserve anything. No one's going to make you feel like you don't, you don't deserve to have love or have unconditional love in your life. You love yourself more than enough. And if any of these men our women are in your energy and they can't make you and they can't and they can't put any energy into you then you make sure that you stay in your empress energy you manifest you let divine and divination uh attract to you what is meant specifically for you five of pentacles and now this person knows that you're everything and more they see that you're very loving you're kind you're caring they have to take control over the situation 
and they are definitely realizing uh, what kind of woman or what kind of man you are and they completely fucked up so now they have to step their game up emperor card they have to come running back towards you expect communication between now and the next eight days this is coming in very very fast and very very heavy a lot of fuck shit obviously but i see that there is potential to fit, make this relationship work if you guys are wanting to make it work i see that you're very smart very logical very loving and very forgiving this person definitely sees that they are such a moron and very stupid for what they've done to you and they have to find a way to make it right with you at the same time this person's having a lot of intrusive thoughts they're thinking a lot about you maybe obsessive thoughts as well they can't get you off their mind they miss you they're having a hard time working it's really affecting them and then whatever workplace energy is going in for some of you guys there's going to be some fuck shit if you guys had walked away from a from from your jobs there's going to be a huge fight at your we're at that workplace that you're no longer there remember what i said to you guys before if you guys are working that place is protected because of you if you're not there anymore, some fuck shit's about to happen at that workplace for what they what, for what they've done to you. If you guys had to quit your job because the because the colleagues and the employees and the managers were all fucking being unfair, they're all about to fucking get it. Every single one of them. Thanks, cuties. Bye.